Bill Merchant, historian and curator here at the D&H Canal Historical Society. Our museum here at 23 Mohunk Road in High Falls will be closed in two years, so we created the Virtual Museum, short three to seven minute segments that will tour you through this museum while we still can. I hope you enjoy. We were very fortunate when this museum first opened to have Lewis Brown do some work for us. Lewis Brown used to work for the Museum of Natural History when he was retired, he lived in the area, apparently, and he made us this wonderful diorama here. This diorama, like all good dioramas, tells you a story. Let's get a little closer look here and just see what, what we've got to, to show you here. And what story does this diorama tell us? Well, let me show you here. Let me move in a little closer and we'll get a sense of... Almost be a little mini movie set, it's so well made, isn't it? And what it's showing you for here, let's get a look over there just so you get a complete look at the whole thing here. This is designed to show you how do boats pass on the canal, right? You've got a canal after the final enlargement was anywhere from 32 to 50 foot wide in spots. And, uh, for the most part, there was just a towing path on one side, so that far side was called the berm side. And the towing path is what we today would call a berm, a man-made mound, but in the historic era, the 19th century, the berm was the side opposite the canal. On Berm Road here in High Falls, you can see that stonework. You can see the remains of stonework on the side of the road because they built the, 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 uh, the road right in the old canal bed. What this is showing you is how two boats pass, and what you can see is that the hoagie, the mule driver of the heavy boat, that's the one closer to the berm side. It was always closer to the berm side because there was a towing path um, in some sections of the canal. The earlier towing path was on the towing path side if they enlarged it in that direction. They enlarged in both directions. Sometimes they just squared up the sides and didn't make it any wider at all because they just couldn't. But what you can see is the hoagie stops, uh, they drop the rope, and then the unladen boat on the tow path side is free to pass over that rope. Um, it seems like a tricky maneuver, but in fact, it was happened all the time. There are over a thousand boats operating in the canal uh, at its peak and uh, going in both directions all the time. So it was, uh, it was a maneuver that was often practiced many, many, many times a day. I think the mules got very smart and knew how to Got used to passing it too. But there's a lot of great detail in this. It's a beautiful work. It must have taken him hours, huh? We'll be moving. I'm not looking forward. This is going to really take some doing to remove this piece. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll do a video of that. <laughs> maybe we won't. I don't know. Let's get us one more wide shot here. And wonderful diorama. How two D&H canal boats pass. Thank you so much for joining us in our virtual tour. New episodes will be put up every week. Hope you enjoy.